So let's look at this situation and let's look at this in the um, money finance sector. So Libras, in the past position, we have you um, kind of feeling a little bit destabilized, okay? And um, I feel a lot of it has to do with financial situation, work situation, and um, learning, possibly starting a new job, learning a new skill, or awaiting a new job that will pay you adequately, okay? So there is some financial news, work situation that is um, kind of on your mind, and either the lack of finances or the lack of work that got you very worried. And I do feel for this month, what's coming through here is the Knight of Cups. And at the heart of this reading, we have this Knight of Cups, which indicates to me good news coming through and possibly even an offer being made to you, okay? The person bringing the offer can be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or it can be a boss figure, which is the King of Pentacles here. This is the man who has, <clears throat> and once again, the cards are not gender specific, but I do feel it, the innate characteristics of a King of Coins is somebody who is very, very financially stable, okay? So this can be a person that is interested in what you have to offer. You know, they see you as an asset to their corporation, their company, or their business. And they're sending out a messenger in order to send you, you know, some type of an offer. Crowning this reading is the Ace of Coins, which definitely indicates blessings and in the work environment. This can definitely, Ace of Pentacles is like a new, a gift given to you from God, but it's also a new thing that can be built upon. So this is definitely indicative of a work offer situation. So this is the, the theme that is um, prevalent for the next two weeks here. In terms of the foundation of this, we have the Eight of Coins. And the Eight of Coins is a situation where, you know, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, it's somebody who's working very, very diligently to manifest, or not manifest, but to... Um, it's basically they're working very, very hard, working very diligently in order to secure their financial base. Whatever the amount of work they put in is going to be compensated. They're going to be compensated adequately for their time, for their skills and their expertise and their diligence. You know, they're, they're getting the, the monetary payout. In the reverse position, it shows to me that in the past, you have been kind of underpaid, either underpaid or underemployed. And as a result of it, you are going into this new work situation. If you're coming in for an interview, for example, and if there is salary negotiations, you don't really know where you stand because in the past you've been underpaid. So if you are going through a salary negotiation for this month and you're not really sure your price range or you're not really sure if you should lowball them or, you know, I guess, if you should, if you should, I guess, what's the word for this? If you should, like, um, um, aim for the high end or the low end because you want a job, you want this job, and you feel like if you were to ask for too much, they might turn you down and go for another candidate. Or if you feel like if you ask for too little, then you're going to be up ending up at square one. So, you know, aim for a middle ground, but also think about the job itself. Do you feel that you will be happy working there long term? If you feel that way, then aim definitely aim high. Okay, aim high because it shows confidence and it shows that you have done the research, you know your worth. So don't sell yourself short is what I'm, I'm sensing the, the overall message here because in the past you, you were not very happy having to sell yourself short. So if it's a company that you can imagine yourself working um, long term in, it's going to be very favorable to aim high and then gradually you will get promoted when you start w the work. It's just um, know your worth and know what the 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 spectrum the 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 income range is in your field of work and you know figure out from that end so do a little bit of background research here you're dealing with someone who's quite meticulous when it comes to negotiations and they are actually a very very good read in somebody's um a good gauge of somebody's um work ethics okay so if you have been recruited by this king of pentacles you are actually very um 
he's com he or she is commending you for your hard work. So you, whatever you ask for, I feel like they will match you. So you don't, you don't have to worry, okay? In terms of what's coming in, I have the two of coins. And the two of coins reverse is actually very good because it indicates, well, it, it can play out both ways. But I do feel in this situation, it's, it's looking very good. So you don't have to juggle, you know, you don't have to do two jobs anymore. You don't have to like juggle between life and work imbalance, mainly because you were underpaid in your previous job. If that's the case, then I do feel coming through, there is going to be more of a fairness, more of an egalitarian energy, and especially a situation where you still have to manage your finances. You still have to, you know, try to juggle things and try to budget and things like that. But the, the anxieties are dissipating a little bit and you don't have to you know do concentrate so hard just on the balance but there's definitely I'm sensing salary negotiations coming through possibly performance review so that they can give you a bonus that's happening you know around this time because we are towards the end of the year so there's some type of reassessment possibly you know like uh, performance review and you're going to have to go in and wow them. And I feel that, you know, it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for you to stand up and tell people your capabilities, your skills and assets and your strengths and weaknesses. At the same time, it is going to require some research on your end in order to um, project yourself in a confident and competent way. Okay, so, so really step it up a notch. In terms of your advice here, you have the world card, which indicates to me a completion, okay? So whatever you've been doing in the past is finally paying off. It's sort of like the seven of pentacles in which you've been harvesting, harvesting, or you've been planting, 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 and now you're harvesting. But the world card is like that card amped up to the next level because this is a major arcana card, which indicates to me that the world is opening up for you. So if you're doing salary negotiations, aim high, okay? So the advice here is do it big and in terms of what's external to you here is the ace of wands so, so there's a lot of um imagination there's a lot of creativity in this new work environment that you're in so they value people who are highly creative and verb um excuse me libras you are very very good at managing both sides of the brain i feel like um you're I've seen like Libras that have gone both ways. You know, they can be very left brain or right brain oriented, but they know how to balance the two. So it's a very good energy. So the work environment that you're required to do, the skills that they value is not the cerebral rational part. They don't want a robot. They do value you for your sense of individuality. So just know that you are being recruited for specifically the assets or the skills that you're bringing to the company. So you will be an asset to the company. So aim high, okay? It's my advice here in terms of your hopes and fears this deals with patience and inner strength which is going to be required of you because i do feel a little bit of a suspense coming through by the end of this month and this the hangman indicates a period of waiting and you have to be very patient you have to have faith in yourself and trust that whatever the outcome is it is going to be in your favor because we have first of all cards that do support that but we also have a lot of like mental energies where you're kind of like kept in the dark and you don't really know what's going to happen for you, okay? Um, <clears throat> I do sense here, we have the Three of Pentacles as the outcome. So this is the first card that came out. And I do feel that they, there are still a, a few rounds of interview and a few rounds of pay negotiations coming through that is going to creep in, the, that's going to show up in the picture, okay? So it's going to get dragged on a little bit further down the line. So I just want you to keep that in mind. I possibly feel like three rounds of interview, possibly two individual interviews with different, you know, supervisors and then one group interview, something like that. But it seems to me like it's a very long process, drawn out process. So it might take two weeks to get everything completed. It might take like, like, two months but I do feel everything is drawn out but you have you know the world going for you and that's in your favor I do feel as well for a lot of you if it's an international job there might be you know just um background checks paperwork that needs to be processed through an international channel company organization something like that to streamline the process or they're trying their best to streamline the process, but there's just an international element associated with it that might um, 
that might drag things on, okay? So for those of you who are not dealing with this on the financial front, I'm definitely feeling that there is, at the heart of this reading, is the Knight of Cups, which indicates a love proposal, okay? This is a, a, a gesture of love, and um, I'm trying to see here. I, I don't feel that you can go wrong with this gesture because we have the Knight of Cups, which is, so there might be two people. You might already be in a relationship with um, an Earth sign. So you might be in a relationship with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and there's another person showing interest in you. So, you know, it's like the dynamics of a threesome type of situation. And I feel that for a lot of you, you might go with the earth sign that you're already in a relationship with. So it's a no-brainer in this situation, be not, not because of the elements, but because of this card. I feel that you are not really juggling two people, or at least you, you feel that you, you can't physically do it and morally you're not going to do it okay if this is an ongoing issue that has happened in, that happened in the past i do feel that um i do feel that there is some news some type of situation coming through possibly travel opportunities from the other person to you that is going to complicate the situation so you know try to um figure out try to figure out who you want to be with because I definitely feel communications coming through from far away possibly from you know one the the water sign and then you're with the earth sign and vice versa so that's why we have the three of coins in the reverse position coming in as the outcome where you're kind of left in the dark I mean she's not blindfolded in this version of the eight of swords but she's in an uncomfortable situation and she's in a sticky situation so there could be three people involved in a love triangle okay and i feel like at the heart of it is like i feel like it's for it's like one libra woman and two men is what i'm sensing more in that order it could just be let me see if there's any or it could just be you in a long distance relationship too because the advice here is the world okay and i feel that the relationship itself is enhanced because of the distance as well. So take it for what it is. And um, there is going to be a time for you both to travel and rekindle and, and things like that. But I do feel right now the financial situation itself is kind of um, uh, of utmost importance to you. So try to get that situated. And I do feel, you know, when it comes to love and situations like that, we do have the holiday season that hopefully you, wherever you are in the world that you're celebrating so that you can, you know, um, have opportunities to travel to see your loved ones in the future. So um, I do hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and, you know, take some time off and be patient with the salary negotiations and, you know, also be speedy, though, with who it is that you want to be with.